guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of My Senpai is Annoying. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I also kind of want a soda. Damn it, why didn't I get that when I was at Walmart last night? Shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, in a way, speak for yourself. <laughs> so, who's going to be the secret Santa this time? <laughs> That's how I felt when I came home from work. <laughs> oh my god, when I came home from work on Thursday, I was so fucking tired. I was so tired yesterday and, and Thursday that I didn't even record my Patreon stuff. And I gotta do that all today so that can come out next week for Patreons and such. You know, in a way, I love having an extra job, but still, at the same time, oh god. But I really shouldn't be complaining. I work five hours. My other co-workers, like, who are non-seasonal, they work eight. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I mean, I could make a soda shrimp after this, and it could be... Use my pink drink. <laughs> None of your business. I'm a god. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. How I would spend being at home sleeping. Ooh. No.
funny. <laughs> oh, it's so close, but so far. Is he watching? Oh, okay, no, never mind. It would have been funny if he was there. <laughs> it is really like the worst place to get a pump. Um, really more my face face rather than like there, but still. Wow, that's perfect. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> it could be. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, bye. Wouldn't it be funny if he was at the door right now? <laughs> mm hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, shit, I'd be having a good year, too, if I was with him every day. Oh, baby, it's okay. Oh god, I'm getting freaking JoJo vibes with the boat. And the boat to <laughs> I'm about to like dig up something next thing you know. Deal. <laughs> I would only do that if I had the day off like but just to see the sunset I mean not the sunset the sunrise on new year oh beautiful He's here. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, she's got to go. Huh? <laughs> of course. Girls are 
threw it up like it was some money. <laughs> yeah, and then watch what you two get. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that though? so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit, we already asked it. You're right. Is it gonna be so good? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> no. I know. It's getting good though. Hey, you know, look at the TV. Hmm? <laughs> he getting his ass beat on TV. <laughs> Of course you were. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, it's obvious she likes you. You just have to tell her how you feel. God, I cannot believe the finale is next week because it feels like we just started the show and now next week it'll be over. Like, ah! <laughs> Even though it wasn't a day for both of our couples today, it was a day. Like, seriously. Like, oh my God. But having, like, Futaba dress in her kimono. Oh my God. Baby looks so cute. Oh my God. I love the fact that, you know, she's like, please, please, God, let me grow some boobs. <laughs> my child, oh my God. <laughs> it's usually genetics, that's all I can say. That, you know, also drinking milk and everything, but genetics at the end of the day. <laughs> God, that was so cute. I can't. I'm gonna die. <laughs> also, to the fact this Cosmo guy is ass beat on television. You know, like, oh my god. You know how it's, like, bad when they have, like, a competition in, like, a sporting event and somebody eats it, like, really, really bad? Like, imagine, I remember one time, this was, like, several years ago, I was watching, um, this, uh, skateboarding competition and somebody did a trick, and they, like, ate it. Like, bam! And it was like, oh! And it was like, imagine you just did that, and you ate some shit, like, really, really bad. And then the next thing you know, it's like a gift, and everybody's like, hey, look at this! And it's just, oh, God, that's one of the most embarrassing things. Like, it's worse when I used to watch this one show called um, Scarred on MTV, which is literally, you know, people either on like skateboards bikes whatever and like they end up breaking their bones and such and so i always had the stomach for it my mom and my dad always wondered how the hell i can sit and watch like someone's bone crack out pop out or whatever my mom can handle surgeries but like it, and it was so weird because like i remember i used to eat like freaking snacks while watching the show and stuff and like oh, i was like yeah you can stomach it but I, I can't stomach surgeries that's the weirdest thing about me i could sit and watch like 
bones, whatever, you know, fingers go all the way back. But if it's a surgery, I'm like, I know. <laughs> No, 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 no. But, yes, you never know what in the world is going to happen strictly on live television. Hell, not even only that, a freaking live stream. You could do anything on a live stream, and then you never know what the hell is going to happen, and then it's just there forever. I mean, oh my god. Like, there's some fun things that from, like, the time that I started in 2016 up until now when I did live streams... Uh, a lot of funny, <laughs> semi embarrassing things happen either to me or my mom while I was recording on a stream and such. But it was, it was all in fun, no matter what. I, there was one time where my mom fell when she was running towards my room, and I was like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And everybody was like, "What was that?" I was like, like "Mom," and they were like, "Is she okay?" I was like, "Is she okay?" I was like, we didn't get it on camera, though, if we're falling, but we heard her. But it, it's just so cute. Just always be mindful if you ever see someone with a camera because you never fucking know what the hell is going to happen. But seriously, this was a good New Year's episode. I still cannot believe that we're going to be over with this show by next week. And it makes me wonder, like, how in the world this is going to end for this group of characters and such. And if we're possibly going to get confessions, you know, either through um, Futaba or her senpai or, you know, Kazuma and Sakura. Like, who is going to be that one couple who possibly might confess by the end of next week? Or, in the end, I'm probably going to have to read the manga because typically that happens because something tells me when Komi does end in, like, a week and when I catch up with it because somebody told me to do the two parts together, I'm probably going to have to read Komi to just see how that goes and such. But, yeah, we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of My Senpai is Annoying. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the final episode. Bye, guys.